Hello everyone, welcome to the Pyramid, a pentathlon roguelike and indie game challenge. This is a mod in Tabletop Simulator created by Alexa and company. And I think this is going to be a great way to challenge myself to beat some of the roguelikes that I don't play as much of, but nonetheless do enjoy a lot of. So, here we have a great big list of indie games and roguelikes. And what we need to do, according to the rules down here, is we need to pick five games in the pyramid for a standard game. And then each one is going to have a primary objective of 125 points and a secondary objective of 75 points. We cannot score the secondary objective if we do not score the primary objective in that run. So the first thing to do is draft a deck of cards of games that we want to play or have the possibility of playing during this run. So let's grab Backpack Hero. Let's grab Crypt of the Necrodancer. Love that one. What else do we have? Enter the Gungeon, easy choice. And we'll take Downwell as well. Dicey Dungeons can get thrown in, I'm sure. Right, what else do I know? And not just know, but I'm capable of actually beating. Because I know Hades, but I can't win it regularly enough to justify putting it into the draft here. Uh, Luck be a Landlord can probably go in. Pick up that whole deck. Inscription, I'm not great with. Uh, we'll definitely take Slay the Spire. I wish I was better at Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon, but I'm not. Classic Isaac, absolutely. Uh, Super Auto Pets, I don't know the new meta. I don't have any modded stuff, so I think this is going to be our deck. So we'll put this here. Why do I have 17 cards in this deck? That doesn't seem right. Did I take 10 copies of something? I took 10 copies of Slay the Spire. That's what I did. Let's get rid of all these. I want one copy of Slay the Spire. You can have multiples if you wish, but I don't need multiples. Let's just put those down over there. That's fine. Right, kill this. Grab that, flip it over. Shuffle it. Uh, how do I shuffle you? Shuffle that a bunch. Right, we're going to draft five of these off the top. And then after we've got our five, we'll go down to the big table below and take a primary and secondary objective of each. So we're going to play them in this order, one a day for the rest of the week. Let's see what we've got up first. Down well. All right, first thing we need to do is come over here. Let's get that table nice and straight. Select all of these decks. And what is shuffle? Is it H? Is it R? It's R. Shuffle all those. We missed one on the corner, but that's not one that we're using. So, down well. D, alphabetically. Where are you? There. So, we want a primary and a secondary objective. And those are going to be meet the smiling jellyfish as arm spin style and use the Zenyan color palette. Well, I hope I have the Zenyan color palette unlocked because if I don't, that's going to be difficult. Then we have Dicey Dungeons. So grab one of those and one of those. Win an episode one run as the inventor. Leave at least one apple on four floors. Well, I hope I find four apples then. Isaac standard game of choice for roguelikes one of the OGs win a run starting as Lazarus skip two item rooms skip two item room items beat the chest alright backpack hero one of the newer additions primary secondary our survey says win a run you must have a shield in your backpack at the end of the run and you cannot have a legendary item in your backpack. All right, we'll see what we can do. And lastly, Luck Be a Landlord. Luck Be a Landlord, one of the ones I'm more scared of because the RNG is higher. Make it to the endless mode in apartment floor one. Have eight common quality symbols in your deck at the end of your run. You get three tries. You cannot go into endless. 
do not take any symbols from the infamous flower meta. Symbols in flower meta can be seen above or listed here. Flower, rain, bee, sun, and farmer. So that is the five games that are going to challenge us ahead. These are the 125 point objectives. These are the 75 point objectives. A perfect run is 1000 points. And you can see a couple of folks down here that have done those 1000 point runs. But for now, we are going to leave things there and you can join me in the next part, which we linked at the end or down below, where we will be playing down well, trying to meet the smiling jelly as arm spin style on the Zenyan color palette. Until then, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.